What do we have here? And we're back in the studio. Good morning, everybody. If you're watching this when it publishes, I hope you're doing well. A couple boxes arrived today. This one at the P.O. box, and then another one came to my house uh, from Fed at FedEx. I actually don't know exactly what's in either box, so we are going to open those up here in a minute. And yes, today is doctor day. I'm going to the doctor here in exactly 50 minutes and just going to... Ba the goal is to get out of the boot, so I don't know what he's going to have me do to make sure that the foot is not... It's feeling good, but I haven't tested the foot in at least seven days where I put some weight on it. And I've been in the boot, as you know, walking around, even uh, testing out new... This is from yesterday's vlog, the Ultra Timp. Even buying and testing out new running shoes with the boot, so the goal is to get out of the boot today. We're getting closer. This is, I can't even believe it. Oh man, it's been six weeks since I had to stop running. Six weeks, oh crazy. You know what it's like if you've been injured. So anyway, that's going down. Of course, I'll bring you along for the journey and let's dive in. Uh, let's see, which box should we open up first? Let's do this top one here from, it's saying Krieg Climbing, uh, spelled K-R-I-E-G. So I, I'm not a climber, like a, you know, a rock climber, but let's open this up. Let's see what's inside in Idaho. Shout out to Idaho. All right, here we are. What's going on here? What is this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't even know what this is. Wait a second. Buffs. It's like a bunch, it's a bunch of buffs. We got, we got, we got a lot. <laughs> yes. And like, you know, uh, chalk bags for climbing. Okay, I don't know exactly what's going on. Does anybody need a buff? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy, all right, well, let's let's open it up, see what's going on here. Okay, here's one. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> sriracha, sriracha, hot sauce, sriracha. Oh, baby. <laughs> this is awesome. I love buffs. I don't know if you guys wear buffs, but uh, I wear buffs even in the summertime to keep the sun off of my neck. This is amazing. And uh, I don't know what's going on here. Um, and then this is a climbing chalk bag. Any climbers out there? Because I don't climb. I used to climb in high school. Do you know that? And a little bit in college, my roommate dragged me up some rocks. I was, I just don't, you know, it's like heights. Like I'm married now. I've got kids. I can't be going rock climbing too much. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, thank you to creeclimb.com. Anyway, I don't need all these buffs. I have like four or five buffs already. So if you need a buff, hmm, I'll think of a way to give, stay tuned to the end of the video. I gotta think about how to send these out to folks because I definitely, I gotta open up, I'm gonna open up one more. I don't. I definitely don't need all these buffs. Box number two, here it is. Big box, pretty big box. Let's open, so let's just see. Uh, okay, oh yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh man, it's a blue box. Can you make a guess before I show you? It's a blue running shoe box. Mizuno in the house. Oh, Mizuno. Okay, what are they gonna be? I don't even remember what, uh, let's see, let's see here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh my God, all right, we're replacing the Timps with Mizuno. Okay, so here's the deal. I don't know the story behind this shoe. I I don't know the story. Basically, from what I understand, this is the Wave Sky. Um, I believe that's the, the Wave Sky from Mizuno. Um, I believe Mizuno is exploring uh, a new midsole technology. Don't quote me on that. I'll do some more research. This guy looks real nice. And, oh, wow. Really interesting. All right, something really fascinating going on in the outsole here. So I will show that to you later. All right, that is it. I'm off to the doctor. Stay tuned. Thank you for all this, the buffs. <laughs> I love it. All right, I'm not signing off now. Come on, let's go.
All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. What is that? There is the boot. The podiatrist today gave me the thumbs up to start walking again. That's right, in a shoe. So here's the update from the appointment. Um, I've been off the foot for six weeks. I haven't been running for six weeks. Three weeks on the crutches, three weeks in, three weeks in the boot. And uh, where, okay. Basically, I explained to him like how the foot's been feeling, what it's been feeling like over the past 10 days, what I've been doing to just try and stay off the foot as much as possible, the cross training, everything. And we came to the conclusion that uh, it's time to test the foot, meaning start walking full time in the shoe. So he, what he wants me to do is starting at 3.30 p.m. today when I walked out of his office, he wants me to walk pain-free for 24 hours. If I can't if I can't accomplish that, then he wants me to get back in the boot. But if I can walk pain-free for 24 hours, then I can keep proceeding forward uh, toward jogging sooner rather than later. So, but uh, that is the status update. Uh, it's amazing. It's just like, oh, I can see the light, right? I can see the light at the end of the tunnel, so it's coming. And uh, that is a basic synopsis of what we went over like he poked he prodded he we did walking across the floor we did all sorts of things to make sure that there was no additional pain popping up anywhere and i we couldn't find any pain in his office today so this is good news thank you for the support i the reason i paused there because we're not out of the woods yet thank you for your support but like we're not out of the woods yet again 24 hours walking in the shoe making sure that there's <coughs> no pain over the next 24 hours and by the way somebody noticed yesterday that yes i am a little sick or dealing with allergies i'm not quite sure which one but we're gonna make it through so that is exciting and what oh yeah keyword walk keyword walk we're walking see ya we're gonna stick this guy up there and yes uh so anyway if you have any other thoughts or questions about the foot feel free to ask down in the comments to this mizuno real quick i'm not gonna break it down too much because i haven't jogged in it yet but maybe sooner rather than later instead i'll just give you a few specs real quick a few like first impressions coming out of the box uh it's the mizuno sky wave knit 3 is the name uh, I, I saw it on a couple websites, but I also it's not like widespread availability yet So this is definitely a brand new shoe. I think I saw June 12th that this shoe is gonna be uh, Don't quote me on that, but I thought I saw that online that it's gonna be available all over the place So uh, let's see Mizuno sky wave knit 3 10 millimeter drop So pretty high on the scale of drop or offset uh, a lot of Nike shoes are, are 10 millimeter as many of you know uh, let's see, uh, 10 mil oh yeah, it's a heavier shoe. So it's being advertised at 10.9 ounces, at least what I'm seeing. I actually haven't weighed it yet in my sizing, but for a road daily trainer, that is a heavier shoe. However, you know my thesis on heavy shoes. I like heavier shoes for daily trainers. Why? I think it helps build up a little bit of leg strength. So like <clears throat> tempo days, um, on long runs, I need to be wearing heavier shoes like the Vimero 14 or who knows, maybe even possibly this. Why? I need to tone it down a little bit on my long runs. I, I was going a little too fast on my long runs in the last training block, which I think led to this injury, uh, just a wee bit. So anyway, I'm not afraid of a heavier shoe just so long as you own one pair of shoes for racing that are really, really lightweight because when you go from this to a racing flat, you're gonna fly. You're just gonna fly or a cross country spike or a track spike or whatever it might be. So there's the weight for you. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, it's, 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 okay. Mizuno, <coughs> Mizuno, Mizuno is building, uh, constructing, engineering, high, high quality build, uh, build quality through Mizuno shoes. Uh, that's what I've noticed so far in the Mizunos that I have tried. Ladies and gentlemen, the opposite, I will say, of Skechers. And uh, Skechers, like, I'm, I like I like the Skechers Razor 3, personally. Uh, and I, I, I still need to put miles into the Go Run 7 Hyper. But I'm telling you, just holding the shoe, feeling it, it's, it's the opposite end of the spectrum for uh, the build quality compared to Skechers. Like, the upper of the Skechers. But in the process of buying running shoes, you have to ask yourself, okay, can the build quality match the amount of miles that you can get out of a shoe like this one. So just holding it in my hands, I am predicting 
four to 500 quite easily. Part of it is because of this outsole is, I can tell the rubber is really, I can just, I can just tell it's gonna last you a long, long time. But because the, even though the outsole is great and the upper build quality, I'm telling you, like once you hold this thing, it's like the heel counter and everything really high quality. Uh, but will the midsole cushion uh, be able to match the rest of the shoe build quality? So it's like that. It's like walking that line in constructing a running shoe. And oh my goodness! All right, that's it for now for the Mizuno. Uh, we could talk all night. Oh yeah, one last thing. I did. Uh, I was correct. This is a new midsole foam. Uh, it's the X Pop. Hold on. X Pop PU foam midsole. So again, it, it feels a, a little firm, but I'm wondering if it's going to lead to some pretty good energy return through that X Pop PU midsole. So foam midsole. So anyway, very excited about that. And one last thing. Hold on. All right, here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. The early bird gets the worm. This vlog publishes every morning at 5 a.m. Mountain Time. That's 4 a.m. on the West Coast, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. on the East Coast, about noon in over in Europe, and about 5 p.m. over in uh, in Asia. So here's the deal: if you're watching this early in the morning, you're in luck. Basically, I'm gonna give away three of these buffs, and these are kind. I haven't looked up this specific company, but some buffs are not. I've seen them as high as thirty dollars, so they don't give them away. Uh, and so I want to give three away. But here's what you gotta do. The first three people to tag me and put a link to the YouTube channel, one on Instagram, one on Twitter, one on Facebook, go. So whoever does it first uh, gets, I will mail you this, uh, I will mail you one of these buffs. Again, I'm guessing, I haven't looked up this company, but I'm guessing it's a 20 to $30 value from Krieg Climbing. So anyway, that's how it's gonna go down. You gotta tag me, put a photo up and a link to the YouTube channel. That's how we're gonna do it, all right? And last but not least, the question of the day. This is really important, here we go. I've published four videos in the past two weeks uh, centered around r races. So the Boulder Boulder and then the Dirty 30 50K. I did a vlog for the Boulder Boulder and then a cinematic edit. So about five to six, six minutes where it's basically a highlight reel with no talking. And then the Dirty 30, I did the same thing, a vlog and then a more cinematic approach. So here we go. What do you prefer? And maybe you haven't had a chance to watch both, that's fine. But if you did especially, like what, what approach uh, do you enjoy more when it comes to watching racing vlogs where I'm not necessarily racing, but I'm out there filming for all of you. All right, so the cinematic approach, the vlog approach, uh, there's other ways to film as well, but that is the question of the day. I know that's kind of a lot to process, uh, but it would, it's, it's gonna help me a lot this summer because I'm gonna I'm gonna rock and roll, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna film a lot of races for all of you, some big ones, some small ones, and who knows, maybe get over to London to film Kipchoge. I don't know. That's one of the goals. So let me know down in the comments. I'd appreciate it. Walk is the key word. Thank you, Mizuno. So excited about these. And uh, again, here we go. Top three, top three. Who's gonna be first? Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. See beauty, work hard. See you tomorrow.